Welcome to Boyle's Law. In this lesson, we're going to explore the relationship between pressure and volume of gases. Robert Boyle studied the relationship between pressure and volume for gases in the 1600s. He was able to conclude that for a fixed mass of a gas at a fixed temperature, that pressure and volume have an inverse relationship. And this became known as Boyle's Law. So Boyle's Law basically says that volume varies inversely with pressure. And mathematically what that looks like is volume V varies, this sign means varies, with the inverse of pressure. And for this relationship, the number of moles and the temperature are held constant. So N is the number of moles, which essentially tells us that the mass of the gas is fixed. If we're keeping the number of moles the same, the mass has to stay the same. And the temperature is held constant. And then this expression tells us that the volume varies inversely with the pressure. Now the phrase varies inversely basically means that if one increases, then the other quantity has to decrease. Let's take a look at that relationship. Here I'm holding a syringe filled with air. If I add pressure, pushing in the plunger, we can see that the volume gets smaller. So in this example, as pressure goes up, the pressure that I'm applying, the volume of the air gets smaller, the volume goes down. I can also show that the opposite is true by lowering pressure. In this example, I have a vacuum chamber with a balloon inside. As I turn on the vacuum pump, the pressure inside starts dropping because the pump creates a vacuum. We can see that as a result, the volume of our balloon expands. So clearly, as pressure goes down in this case, the volume goes up, and we can see this inverse relationship. Now we can also make prediction with Boyle's Law using this equation. The relationship we wrote down earlier can be rewritten as an equation between initial conditions on the left and ending conditions on the right. So this equation is going to allow us to make predictions. Here we have an example where we can make use of that equation of Boyle's Law. So this problem says that a balloon contains 15 liters of air at STP. What is the volume of the balloon when the pressure increases to 200 kilopascals? So this question is clearly relating volume and pressure, which tells us we need to use Boyle's Law. So P1 times V1 equals P2 times V2. Now remember, P1, V1 refers to the initial conditions. So to show our work, we're going to establish what these variables are. The initial pressure and the initial volume. These initial quantities are given to us in the problem. The initial volume is 15 liters. So I know that's my initial volume. Now the initial pressure is given in this term here, STP, standard temperature and pressure. And we know that the standard pressure is 101.3 kilopascals. So now we have some of our variables set up. We now need to look at what the final pressure and final volume are. Well, I'm told that the pressure is going to increase to 200 kilopascals, so that's going to be the second or final pressure, P2. V2 is going to be my unknown, because the question is asking me, what is the volume of the balloon? So V2 is going to remain a variable. Now I can start setting this up. 101.3 kPa, kilopascals, times 15 liters equals 200 kilopascals, times V2, my unknown. Now if I go through the algebra, I'm going to see that V2 equals 7.5975 liters for my V2. Now I'm not quite done here. This answer has way too many significant figures. I'm limited by the 15 right here. That only had two significant figures. So my final answer should also only have two significant figures. So if I round this, I'm going to get 7.6 liters as my final volume. Now let's think about this problem from the standpoint of kinetic molecular theory and see if our answer makes sense. Ignoring the numbers, all I know right now is that I had some volume of a gas and the pressure increased. The pressure went up. So I applied pressure to a gas. Now that pressure should push the molecules of the gas closer together. That should result in a smaller volume the volume should go down. And if I look at my numbers, I originally had 15 liters and I ended up with definitely less of a volume. 
So this answer should make sense based on kinetic molecular theory. That wraps up our lesson on Boyle's Law. Any questions you have, write them down in your notes and bring them with you to class.